good morning good afternoon good evening guys so in today's video we are in a rabbit farm here in cross river state that has over 100 rabbits so we have visited this farm before um the name of this farm is bash 67 rabbitry so here they don't have the farm i want him to introduce himself to us what's your name and the name of your farm okay my name is uh, bashiro the name of the farm is uh, bash 67 farm Okay, um, I know we have been here before, so today I want us to just have a general conversation about your farm. There was a day I came here, and that particular day, we did not talk about, um, like, we were just discussing and we talked about a lot of things. I learned a lot from you. So I want us to take it on video today so that my viewers can actually also see. So, um, basically, this is your farm. I know your farm is very big, and I know you run it alone. Yes. What are the things you do when you come here in the morning? What are the things you do? Well, when I woke up in the morning, early in the morning, uh -huh. I move around the farm. First of all, I check on all those rabbits. That's the privilege I have for the farm to be behind the or backyard farm. Yeah. I check on, the, on those rabbits. Anyone that has any form of sign of symptoms of sickness, I notice okay. it on time. And I tackle it headlong. Okay. Then... After watching them, checking them in the morning, then though I have other things that I need to do. Yeah. I have a small uh, broilers that I take care of. Yeah. Uh, you know broiler is very delicate. I first of all finish, after looking at the rabbit, just watch them. Mm. I go to broiler's house, feed them, change their water, they move to the layer, the one for the house too, and feed those who want to put the water there. Then before I now come back to the rabbit. Okay, so do you feed do you feed the rabbit on the same food you feed the layers and the broilers? No, 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 no. What do you feed? Layers heat layer mass because they are lay. Okay. And we just calculated the percentage. I have only fifteen, and they are laying twelve eggs on daily basis. Okay. Then the broiler. Uh, yesterday I just introduced finisher mass. They uh, I bought them on twenty eighth of March. By 28th of April, they are one month, four weeks. Okay. Uh, under normal circumstances, they hit super starter. From that 28th of March, the 28th of April, but I forgot to buy finisher. I need to rush and buy. They hit the starter tea yesterday until I bought the finisher mask. Okay. It's still good for them. Okay. But Make them strong and uh, disease resistance. Okay, what about your rabbit? What do you feed the rabbit on? Yes, rabbit, you know, before we, I formulate my food for the rabbit. Okay. I told you, carne cake, uh, wheat over, and then uh, super starter okay. in some measurements. Yeah. I feed them with that one, and I've seen a great improvement. Look at the one that I brought out the other time. Okay. Uh, if, if somebody, it's, it's okay, really... look at the one that I even bought from some farm that you see, small, small farm, yeah. small rabbit. And they are, they, are, they are doing very well with the feed. With that means the formulation is okay. So with that feed formulation, like what do you get in four months? What's the size you get? Your, when you measure them? I don't weigh regularly, but I have a rabbit that is as big as 4.5 kg in the farm. Okay. Like that one there. We can yeah. wait, you can do the uh, measurement. Well, you, you have a scale? Yes, I have a okay. scale. Okay, so let's try. You can do the measurement. Okay. So, guys, <laughs> want to be use the, um, we want to use the scale right here so that we can actually measure one of his rabbits and we see the measurement he gets. Um, the weight he actually gets from formulating his own feed with weight of our PKC and super starter. That's also the same formulation I use. I learned it from him and I stick to the formulation because it actually works very, very well. So he wants to be weighing his rabbits here. This is his scale. He wants to be weighing it so that we can actually see how many kg the particular rabbit actually weighs. So using this PKC with of our cuts a lot of costs, like it reduces the amount of money you will spend on feeding. Reduces the amount of money you will spend on feeding. Unlike just buying the normal chicken um, pellets, because here in Nigeria we don't have companies that formulate rabbit feed. Unlike just buying the normal chicken pellets and feeding your rabbit, you will. Look at this one, son. It's two kg. Okay, it's this, this is even Angora that does not have weight, as you can see. Weight, as you can see, it's two kg there. So. This is a very nice angora here. Just picture the rabbit so that we can actually see how it is. So, guys, you have seen that the formulation he uses works very, very well. So, sir, apart from that formulation, what else do you feed your rabbit on? I have a grass that I plant purposely for that. 
Traders. It's a form of traders. I got it from a friend that sold the first, I mean, the second batch or third batch of rabbit for me. Okay. And I planted it in front of the house. I think we should have a, a picture of it. We'll, we'll go to that finish. place. Yeah. I have something like a bitter leaf, which I planted right around the house. I have a decent leaf. Yeah. It's all over the place. Yeah. Those are the things that I supplement. Assuming their food finishes. And I did not know what to, I didn't buy it on time. Yeah. I can easily go to those places and get the green for them. I can even use it to do those dry dry feed. Yeah. Yes. Those are the things that I feed them. And I, I can also see moringa leaf there. You also feed them on the moringa. Mm, yes, but the thing is taller than me now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the moringa it leaf is, is very, 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 very I tall. Heard, I heard the moringa leaf is very good for the pregnant female. Do you feed them to your pregnant female? I have not tried those ones. I've heard a lot about it online, but I have, I have not tried those ones. The only thing I do for my pregnant rabbit is that I increase their feeding rates. Okay, when when you want to... Male rabbit, I feed them just once a day. Okay. Then if I want to do some little Christmas for them, I will supplement it with grass later in the evening. Okay. Then female rabbit, I feed them money. Female and breastfeeding or the mother, the mm -hmm. one that just gave birth. Yeah. I feed them money, afternoon and evening. Okay. And I saw a lot of improvement. You will see those uh, kittens the other side. So you feed your female rabbit three times a day? Three times. How, a so day. How, how often do you breed the female rabbit? How often do you cross each I, of them? Like, I, in how, how many times do they give birth in a year? One female rabbit, like how many times do they give birth? One female rabbit for the healthy, for the sake of the rabbit, as I said, themselves. Yeah. Uh, they give birth about four times a year. Okay, so that you don't, over, that. I don't over, you don't over overbreed them. them. Yes. Yeah. Does he have any head. disadvantage over breeding them? Every human being, if human, if normal human being give birth to twelve children, and one give birth to only three, yeah, you will see the difference. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. true. You will see the difference. And animal too. It's not necessarily because they give birth on every month. Every month you cross them after the kitten look uh, a bit Very mature. They are, uh, yeah. Or maybe they have open eyes, they are four weeks old, you cross again. Mm. No, those one is not good for the female rabbit. Okay. Yeah. So these these are the little bunnies you These watch. are the little bunnies. I just separated them from them. How, how old are they? This one is like this one. It's from a different mother. This is the youngest among all this one here. Yeah. It's a lake queen. They give it to only that one. That one is big. This one is from a... Um, uh, chinchilla, the, not chinchilla. This other one, Flemini giant, is your mother. Okay. But they are not as giant as the one I used to see online. Yeah. Uh, I have them, but they are not. I have uh, how many female of that set? About four or five. Okay. Since they are cross breeds, maybe they are not I pure breeds. I think so. They are not pure breed of Flemini giant. Yeah. And these are from them. Okay. So um, we've talked about your feeding. Yeah. We've talked about the little bunnies. When you want to cross your 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 males, like when you want to cross your female, yeah. how long do you leave them with the males? Because I hear a lot of people say three days, one week, no, no, so that you'll be no, sure of the crossing. No. So how long if, do you leave them? I I would like us to even try some crossing. You don't okay. you don't need to leave them for a day or two if you have a sharp male. Yes. I have up to about 10 male that are sharp that I'm using. Okay. You take a female there, you cross. If the female did not agree, I remove them. Okay. I don't allow the male to start biting and injure the female. Yeah. No. I remove the female immediately. Before I do that one, two, three times, the female will agree. And then you cross first time, second time, third time. And that's Then what? I check the bomb bomb. If it's red, mm -hmm. I remove it immediately. Okay. And go and keep it separately. Okay. So, so how how do you always um, know that um, your female rabbit is ready to mate, or do you just try them if they accept and you just leave them there? Normally, when I separate them, when I separate the, the babies from them, mm. when I remove those kittens from them, mm. I give them like a week or two, yeah. maximum of two weeks. Okay. I introduce them to me. Immediately they accept. I don't even go for all the sign check this yeah. one check. This. I don't go for all those ones. Yeah. The moment the baby, they know if they are with their kitten, you introduce me, they can still cross and get okay. pregnant. Yeah. But for the, I want them to give me a very good kitten. Yeah. <laughs> That's why. For their health purpose. About a week or at most two weeks mm. after I separate from the kittens, I cross them, and they accept most of them. Okay. 
Because a lot of people used to say you need to cross them like three uh, for three days or for one it's week. It's only before, the one before, that you are not sure day. of, the one you want to first cross and all the rest that you can leave for a day or two. If you don't want to use all other techniques of rubber band, mm. some use a cello tape to tie the tail and all the rest. If you don't want to use that one, mm. you can leave it there. If you have a female that is very, very sharp, if, if, the if, male, I mean, if you have a male that is very sharp, the female did not agree with design, the, but I've, it's, an, it's something that I've witnessed yeah. in my family. Yeah. I kept a female. They have crossed. After the female did not agree, the female started, the male started biting the female. Okay. Bite the hair, bite the neck, wound all over. Okay. Before I remember, I said, oh, I put a female with a male sometime. I need to rush down there, but the they did. The bad thing has already been done. Okay. The deed has already been done. So right. you should not advise anyone I to won't advise. Leave. If you have a sharp mail, you don't need to keep it. Yes, for just days. put it there and watch. Put it there when you watch. Within 10 minutes. Early hours on the morning, later in the evening. Yes, it's better for it's crossing. It's better for crossing. Because of the weather. Um, the weather too. Yeah, okay. Mm. When okay. you do that, you don't need to keep it for days, no. Okay. So you told us uh, that we will try some crossing. Yes, I will try one. Okay, so maybe you just get. So for those of you guys that have been thinking that you really need to keep your your female with the male for like three days, four days, one week, and so on. You have heard from. Of this one. Okay. Who's the mother? Okay. So let's just try. If the female is on heat, we automatically allow. Okay. I separated this one almost a week now. Not up to one full week. And you need to stiff it. I'm looking at it, say the kitten really suck him dry. Yeah. Suck the dough dry. Okay. I want to just allow it for some time. But to try it, if this female, if it's a male, if it's a female that I said, this one will climb first time, second time, third time. Mm. If I'm there and he climb three times like that, I remove it immediately and go and keep it. Okay. So, so the how number of crossing doesn't determine the number of kittens. Okay. It determine on the parent. If the parents normally give birth to so many, so many kittens, mm. that's the one that you say. As we the parents give to like 10, 11. There's one time I had one do on the farm that give uh, give birth to eleven. Okay. But I lost that do. Maybe as a result of overcrossing or you want to breed it more. Yeah. Give birth to eleven, nine, eight. That's that's but after some time the they do fall sick and died. Okay. That's, that's the that's the disadvantage in it. Okay, so when uh, like how old does the female rabbit have to reach before you start crossing it? Well? Like for it to reach that maturity of start starting to be bred by from, a male. From four months you can cross it. But okay. you I give room. Because if you cross I, there is one time when I have only two cages. Okay. I have several female. Mm. And then so I didn't really understand how to check male and female way. Okay. The one I kept together, the next thing I say I woke up one day, I saw kitten on the floor. Out of our four or five females that are there, I don't know which one give it. Okay. It's as bad as that. I don't even know which one cross. That one automatically is an inbreed. Okay. Because there is no space, I keep both male and female together. They are almost uh, which size? Okay, they are like this size. They are like this size. Before you know what is happening, one give birth. One of them just give birth. Okay. I find it difficult, though I lost all the kittens. Because oh. I cannot pinpoint which one that, that, that give birth to all those kittens. Okay. Okay, the one I was saying that uh, if a male is sharp, look at this male. He's biting this female because if the female did not agree, he go to, he's going to injure the female anyhow. Yeah. And, and you see, automatically this one is not ready for mating. Yeah, the, the female. The female is not ready for mating. Okay. Yeah. So if it was ready for mating, it would have just... You don't need to. You don't need any okay. suit here. The moment you put it there, one hand. Mm. Mm. And this is not the first time. I show you the kitten that uh, I just separated from them. It has never been a female that is stubborn. Mm. It's all right. Okay. So what are the challenges you face in this your farm now? Okay. What are the challenges you face? Like, I know as a rabbit farmer, you, <laughs> you usually face challenges. Do you face rabbit challenges with feeding? So many, so many challenges. Okay. Like, what are the few you face? My home, mm. majorly, is that if I don't create time, I'm a civil servant. Yeah. I work. And... Uh, 
if I don't create enough time to go around, okay. especially when uh, when I have the incident of coccidiosis, okay. before you know what is happening, it's spread rapidly. If the thing happened and one rabbit died, before you know what, no matter the treatment you give, before you know what is what happened, okay. it can kill both young and adult rabbit. If you care, it's not. But if I notice it, that okay, what I normally do is that when I feed the rabbit, I'm the one feeding them. Mm. Morning, afternoon, evening, even mm. if it's once in a day. When I feed the rabbit and I come back, I still meet the same quantity of food that I put there in the morning, in the evening. Mm. I know something is wrong. Yeah. Sure. And what I do is that I start treatment. First of all, I try the leaf. I cut one of those three ducks or potato leaf and give. If it doesn't touch it, that means the thing has entered it. That means I didn't notice on time. The thing has but if you pick the leaf and you choose more and later leave it, then the moment I start treating for coccidiosis, everything clear. See, I've seen. It's, 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 it's not gross, it's biting. Yeah, the female, the the female, female is, biting. is being aggressive on it's the female. Biting the That's female. why she's shouting. It's not, he didn't allow. Yeah. And his bite is yeah. shouting because he's biting it seriously. Okay. This one you don't need to keep. If you keep, you just kill your female. <laughs> so, talking about um, the coccidiosis, yeah. what do you try to do like to prevent it on your farm? Cleanliness. Okay. Cleanliness is uh, close to godliness. Yeah. Initially, I clean my rabbit house once in a week. But I see that that time, that's one, when this thing is so rampant and common, mm. you need to be clean. If you cannot clean every day, uh, two other days. You okay, clean today, two, two days. days after. Two days after you clean again. Okay. Like about twice or three times a because week, if possible. They are major, they are major, um, if the environment is clean, you won't have most of this thing. Yeah, sure. Even if you have it, it won't spread. You won't have it if the environment is clean. If you have it, it will not spread because you'll be able to curtail it if the farm is clean. Okay. Yeah. Because what I know is that their major disease comes from the their droppings. Yes. That's where their major disease yes. comes from. So we want their droppings stay with them. It's just like someone living with his feces. That just it, That's you it. you tend to get um disease. You're so the house. Uh, yeah. Often. So for the um, coccidiosis, what do you use to cure? Like, if you want to treat, what, what do you use yeah. for their treatment? Now it's one time I introduced uh, that uh, savadimidin. Yeah. It's the one I'm still using. Okay. And uh, somebody just, uh, somebody bought uh, mature male, a mature female rabbit from me. And later, after about three, four days, he said the rabbit is not eating. I came here, he said, he's an in-law. He's an in-law. And then when he came, I gave him my sovereignty. And he injected it. I asked him, this morning he came to pick another. When you see the house that is empty yeah. there, he came to pick another male, yeah. female today. Mm -hmm. uh, female that have crossed. When he gave them that injection, because I, give, I told him how to administer it. If their weight is 2 kg, you give between 0 0.3 to 0 0.6. But when you have noticed that it's not eating, start it with 0 0.6. If it's 2 kg, you give 1.2 mil. Then you give 1.2 mil, minimum of three days. You can extend it to five days, depending on superiority. Okay. Minimum of three days. The rabbit are doing excellently well. That's what I use in my farm. Okay, so they suffer dimedine. That's yeah. what you use for coccidiosis. Suffer now. Suffer now. Mm. So is there any other disease like that you want people to be aware of as rabbit farmers? Is there any other disease? Like this uh, fungal infection. Like yeah, skin here, infection. skin infection. I hardly have it. The only the time the thing surface in my farm is when I went to Unica farm to pick this black rabbit. Okay. This black and this uh, Dutch. Mm. When I pick two of them on Unica, this thing, I need to treat. When the first of all came, I don't keep the rabbit together. Mm. I separate them. But I need to treat them because the thing is, it was on their body. That fungal infection was on their body. Yeah. And after I treat them, look at how they are looking now. Okay. So the, the disease came with this particular it one? It came with it. Because I isolate them and treat them, it doesn't spread. I okay. hardly got it. The so it, only area, the only thing that you can see in my farm that is so common now, and uh, I don't know whether anybody, you see their leg, the, the nails yeah. being cut with this net. Okay, the mesh. The it's because of mesh. the kind of wire mesh you're actually using. Because of the kind of you know your your wire mesh, some some of them are, are, are bigger. So just come and then, take a video. This one I don't know. Yeah. If this one, if you don't use this, like that hole there, yes. assuming this one give birth, 
the kitten will be on the on the on the mesh. And it won't be on the on mesh. The it won't go down on the on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> she's actually shot. Uh, so just take it out, yeah. <laughs> so, guys, we were trying to. So you see, after you do like this, after I cross it, mm. if you check this bonbon like this, it will be red to show that to show has... that the rabbit has crossed. But you see this one is not white. Uh, yeah. Okay, so um, sir, we have. Talked about um your challenges, talked about your feeding. I want you to also show us around like the kind of breeds of rabbits you keep and why you keep them. Okay, but first of all, let's talk about this your new cage. Okay. <laughs> okay. Guys, you actually made a new um standard indoor iron cage here, metal cage. It can be outdoor. Okay, it can also be outdoor. It too. can be outdoor or indoor. Okay. That is your sense of putting this uh, okay. zinc on top. If okay. I want to take it out now, I will just provide a zinc that is bigger. Okay. It can be outdoor, it can be indoor. It depends on what you want. Like as it is like this, mm. I need to cover it on top because uh, sometimes you see them. If you have this bag on top, they start eating their bag. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's why I cover it with this zinc. Okay. And you see, it's not because of the rain. I just cover it because I want to put some things on top. Yeah. yeah. Look at this second one too, the same thing. I, I saw some few um videos on when you were doing it, so you are going to share with us. So and I will give you can, the video. I will see. give you the video. You know okay. the measurement as it is. When you look at this one, is smaller. Mm. The house, but this one is a bit this bigger. This particular one, I got it from somewhere. Yeah. Okay. This one serves as a template. Yeah. But when I constructed my home, everything I bought the material, cut the material, just call a weather to come and do this thing. So you me. saw this one from somewhere. I bought this one from someone. Okay. Yes. When I brought it, you in, bought it like this. Yes, like this, okay. complete. Okay. Uh, complete. I bought it like that. Mm -hmm. When I bought this one like this, and when you look at it, it was open. One, two, three houses. Okay, it was a free ring. I now bought this mesh that I used for this one. Okay. I cut to it, to partition it, it into okay. three, three arches. Okay. okay. That's now nine per this cage. Mm. Then when I now want to do my home construction. This particular one. Yeah. The house is more roomy when you look at it. Mm. Yeah, actually, this is a female. They can deliver from that. can put a box there yeah, for yeah, it to deliver. Box, yeah. They still have a feeders. Feeder yes. and then this water truck. Mm. So, what, what is the space of each of these cages in case there is anyone watching that wants to do something like this? The space. Okay, we are with a tape here so that yes. we can actually have measurement. So, just come closer so that you can see. The space is a. Uh, this is 20, no, 21. In the bright, length is 2 feet. Okay. The length 21 is 2 feet, 21 inch. Uh -huh. this, one, they, this other one is 2 feet. Okay. So you see, this is 2 feet. Okay. 2 feet by 21. That uh, 2 feet is 20, but, 24. Okay. 24 but, by 21. Okay. This is 24 by 21. That's the size of each one. And the height. The height yeah. at least. You give room for this. The whole one. height. This Just let's see the whole height. No, the height of each arch. That's what arch is. That's why this is 15. Okay, the yeah. height is 15. 15. Okay. Inside, so, so come, and, come least... and get a video of this front so that we can actually that see. That is the back, not front. Okay, this, this is the front. Okay, this is the back. That's why you see so the tell us, tell us how you remove this particular, um when you want to remove their droppings how do you remove it okay when you want to remove the dropping you see where their urine coming yeah if it's truly commercial urine go back go back a bit go back, go back, go back. if it's truly commercial and i see where to sell it i can easily get that work yeah. but i've not seen where to sell the urine yet okay you did the, the pipe was not well, i didn't you didn't come it together okay the pipe can be removed okay so you seen it Okay. Then you remove this one. You see? Yeah, yeah. Then you bring this one out. Okay, so this can come this out. This one can come. You can bring only the pipe out. You will now remove those one in layers. Okay. Like a drawer. Yeah. <laughs> you bring this other one like a drawer out. Okay. 
After ah. removing this, let, let me let me do this complete. So okay. Whoever is watching, I I wish actually, I wish we could actually make a comprehensive video on how you actually did this particular cage, <laughs> because I know a lot of people will need to know. I know a lot of people will need to in case they want to show their welder. Have you seen it? Yes, I've seen. This I've, one you empty whatever is inside. Yeah. You keep it. You will now start picking this one. After you, I did not gum anyone together. Okay. You bring this one like a drawer. You bring it out. Okay. And you empty the pool. Okay. Okay. You bring this other one out and you empty the pool. That's okay. What you do. That's okay. What you do. That's very very neat today. Okay. Okay. That's what okay. you do. Yeah. I, if I, you gum it, you won't be able to have access to all this one. Yeah. That's why it's like this. And the, this cage is when not... you finish cleaning all those work, yeah, you can now install everything back. Okay. Okay, wow, wow, wow. This is a very nice setup here, guys. So, for those of you guys that are looking for ways to do this iron cages, these iron cages last longer, but last longer. they are expensive. So, if you have the money, this is what you should do. Okay, so, um, we need to go and see some of the crops he used, some of the rabbit urine and rabbit droppings to grow. So, we, are be we will be going down, we will be going down there right now to see some of those plants he plants and um, send leaf from his rabbit urine and his rabbit droppings plant a lot of things there so sir i want us to be going down there so that he can actually show us have you seen it it's fixed yeah, yeah. yeah so this is, this is how he puts everything back in the pipe will go in all the this thing none is fixed. none none is gone none is fixed yeah you just uh assemble it yeah. So, so guys, he, he actually did this construction on his own. He did this on his own. No one, he did not pay anyone to do it. So, <laughs> for all of you guys that will be saying you need a plumber for this, no, you don't need a plumber. You can just look at all what is just getting. Come, if you actually need a plumber, yeah, you know what you want. Okay, you show you him. show him what you want mm. because all this pipe we got to a stage. I don't know what to do. I say okay, I use a axle. To cut it, it's too cumbersome. I need to take mm. it back to order. Okay. They now use the assault to cut the thing. Yeah. They use the assault to cut it for me. Okay. okay. What next? I want us to talk about the plants. I saw some. You say you want to check uh, the different breed we have. Okay. Okay. Yeah. First. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Let's see the different breeds you have here. This one. Uh, this one. A uh, miss breed. These are some Palominos here. Yeah. Okay, these are Palominos. Uh, Palominos, yeah. They are very, very good breeds when it comes to parenting skills. So, I know you have mostly Hylas, and your Hylas are big. So, Hylas is the one that dominates. Yeah, Hylas dominates your farm. Hylas dominates. Okay. I have a... And you have... Aleko and only one. Only one mother. Okay, only one female. Only one mother that I have. Wow, I but, have... but you have some Aleokuin babies, a lot of them. I lost some. Okay. Except I told you I didn't know what to read. That's Ayla. All oh, this one down here, Ayla. Okay. And this is that I'm. Um, Let's see. This, uh, this is chinchilla. Chinchilla. This American chinchilla. chinchilla. So guys, that is an American chinchilla male. I wanted to pick this particular one. That was the one I was looking at to buy from here, because I don't have that American chinchilla breed. So I needed to buy this particular one. Mm -hmm. This is a Dutch. Dutch. And this, this is Ayla. Okay. Okay. Are these, the kittens, these are angoras. Uh, these are angora kittens. Wow, wow, wow. Separated them from so, them. Because guys, uh, this is still a... Uh, I'll be dropping his number on this video. So that in case of those of you guys that want these angoras, you can actually come... He can wave you to you. Yes, he can wave you to you. You can actually just get in touch with him. Either you chat him up on WhatsApp or you call him. He can wave you those rabbits to you. Those angoras are very good breeds there. Those are the growers, right? Yeah, those, those are, are growers. Mm, those are growers. But you, I think you don't sell your mature angoras. I told you the experience I had, can't I had one time. Mm. A lady come here and said you want to buy, what's the name of that one? Dutch, I mean. Chinchilla. Chinchilla. Yeah. That's actually, a mm. mature made chinchilla says she like it, she want to pick it. And after... Paying, I say okay. My chinchilla is a mature one. I've been using it. I yeah. put a male there, a female there, a cross in her presence. So yeah. that's the one you want. After paying, I say okay, twenty k because I want to lose one of my breeding rabbits. Yeah, your breeding twenty thousand. Yeah. That was why. After we now move to the cage that has a angora. Mm. And you guys, you say which one is this one that look like 
uh, this uh, fine dog that they normally keep inside here. I said, yeah. that's Angora breed. He said, ah, will you sell this one? I said, if you can pay me. Just jokingly, <laughs> see how much you name your price. That's how the lady pick it. Okay. And had additional 5,000 naira. To pay 25,000 because uh, I said <laughs> you no. You didn't want to sell the Angora. I didn't want to. That's why the, I, if I had no service, I would have even said 30,000 so that you, she would run. Okay. But okay. I was shocked. He said no. He called the person that brought her. Say, give me 5,000 cash. Yeah, they have already transferred 20,000 naira for that maid for me. Give me give me 5,000. That's how they pay 25,000. I was wow. amazed. I said, wow. <laughs> that means. And the 25,000 you told her was to Poshua. It's just to Poshua. And she ended up to buy she it. She ended up picking the. <laughs> And I know that you're fine, Angora. That you're female. No, is it's it? It's okay, male. it's male. That big one. It's male. That big one. So this is an Halo Queen here, guys. This is Halo Queen. Very fine. Is that a male or a female? It's the mother of that one. Oh, it's wow. Female. Wow. It's female. Halo Queens are very cute breeds, but be, they are not big. They don't grow too big, but if it is... In short, I think they are the most expensive breeds. You can uh -huh. check online, yes, Halo Queen. Uh -huh. You can check online for the most expensive breeds. These are still Angora. Okay, these are the angoras. I put them in their small, small orchards so that they grow bigger, faster. They restrict their movement. When I keep them here, I want them to gain weight okay. and then grow big. That's the reason why. Okay. That's the reason why I keep them in a, a smaller cage. Okay. So when when they don't move too much, they... They gain weight. They move. gain weight. Yeah, you know, I it's think not it... an animal that is always uh, extremely big. Yeah, no, they are not, when they, they are exercise not too big. much, they don't they don't gain a lot of weight. They don't gain a lot. Of they lose weight. weight. Yeah, it's only when they are when I now say that they have attained certain weight, I mm. move them to a bigger cage. Okay, I cannot prepare them for cross. Nice. That's what. Hope I you're do. learning something from this. And you see, yes. I have those smaller cage. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Yeah. Any one I want to use for breeding. Okay. If I have a male or female I want to use for breeding, I bring them here. I keep them here. Okay. Initially, I used it as a quarantine something, but yeah. it's still within the farm. I stopped that, but I now use it for for breeding the one I, the one I want to use to breed in the farm. I, okay. I raise them from that small cage. Okay. So, do you sell do you sell meat rabbit? Do you sell meat rabbit? Like if someone is coming to your farm to get like rabbit for meat, people, that he wants to eat. Come. People okay. come to buy for meat purpose. Mm. But I don't do, say, okay, you tell, tell me I want meat rabbit, I kill and bring to you. No. You okay. will come and buy and go and process it yourself. That's what I do. Okay. You will buy and process it yourself. Okay. That's just what I do. Okay, so for the for the meat rabbit, you the person who buy, you don't prepare them. <laughs> okay. Don't prepare. You buy and go. Okay, so let's let's see the crops you planted with some of your rabbits um, manure. Let's see some of the crops. Because I know you plant a lot of crops outside the, and some of your tree ducks. You, you yes, said that true. particular tree that you planted, how how did you plant them? How it's, did you plant them? You know that one? That one behave like a runner. Okay. Mm, it's a runner plant. Yeah. If you see potato, the way potato grow wide, mm. it's runner. Mm. Uh, when you plant only one potato and then one of these things that I have here. You yeah. know this, uh, see it. Uh, you know this leaf? No, I don't know that one. Perceive it. It's corelli. Yeah, that's corelli. Perceive it. The only thing that the only thing that make this one extend from here, I will still pick some that remain and transfer it to where there is sunlight. It's because of the cover. Of, all this orange grow on uh, Manu. Okay. See the wedu. Grow on Manu. Where is the wedu? See a wedu here. Okay, this is a wedu leaf, guys. A wedu uh -huh. leaf that they are talking I want about. to I want to also tell you guys what you can actually use this particular leaf for. I hope you guys can see it very very well. This a wedu leaf here works for pregnant rabbits. The reason why I say it works for pregnant rabbits, if your rabbit has passed the due date that is supposed to give birth, let's say your rabbit was supposed to give birth from the one to the thirty five. But most of them, they even stay to the 35. Let's say from the 1 to the 30. And it has gotten to the 35 and the rabbit has not yet given birth. You can just give her this leaf. When she eats this leaf, this leaf will help her to give birth faster. Yeah, this leaf actually works for that. Just as, as oxytocin works, some of the, those of you guys that know ox, oxytocin, yes, that yes. you inject it to the rabbit the, for them to give birth. Labor. Yes, to induce labor. That's the same thing this particular leaf works. But this one is like an oral treatment for that. <laughs> so you're just <laughs> enjoying your uh, <laughs> oh, that's a, you grew them with your um the, the, tire, the rabbit manure with um 
some little sand and I plant it there. Okay, okay, with the rabbit manure and the... This sand leaf there is not today, it's years. So many, about two, three, four dry season have made them. Okay, they didn't die. They come up again. Yes. Wow, inside tires. Look at the pepper. Guys, you see how fresh these vegetables are? Look at the pepper. Yeah. You see how fresh these vegetables are? All of them are being grown with the rabbit manure. All of them are being grown with the rabbit manure. So, this is how you grow with your rabbit. You, you use your rabbit manure to grow vegetables. So, let's go. Um, so, here also he has some of, some, of the, <laughs> some of the vegetables here. And also, his scent leaf, which he grows with his um, rabbit manure. So sir, let us go to the to outside so that I can actually show us tree ducks. Guys, a lot of tree ducks are there. A lot, a lot and a lot of tree ducks are outside here. So just get just get a view of this particular place here. As you can see. Yeah. Just get a view of this outside. So this is a lot of tree ducks and this is lemon grass. Yeah. So guys, this is lemon grass. It's also good for rabbits. This is tree ducks. Cut the one with the flower. See the one with flower. In okay, place. okay. Mm. This is tree ducks here. And a lot of tree ducks grows here. This is tree ducks. It's also very, very good for rabbit. So, so how did you plant these tree ducks? How did you plant them? As you approach it, like this one now. Uh -huh. If you go to your farm and just put this one down, it's a matter of time. No, it's rainy season. Give okay. it one week. It will start, you will see it run now. Okay. All over the That's. Why you look at the, this place? They run down to the uh, drainage. I need to trim them. I trim them occasionally. Now, like now, I've trimmed this side. I need to trim the other one that are inside the. Yeah. Drainage. Okay. You trim them. I trim them away because it's because they, they grow too much. They uh, that, that they grow wide. Yeah. They grow wide. So maybe for those of you guys that will need this particular tree, just to get just one stick planted. If you get and you start transplanting, alone, just start transplant. If you now get like uh, ten of this. Mm. And you put it in your van. Then you have ten stand. Okay. So many of people, so many people that bought rabbit from me, they come. I just they will uproot. Say no, this I say uproot as many as because when they come and uproot here like this one now, you see, ah, there is no one here. Before they come next time, the whole of this place I hop again. Okay. I say, ah, what is happening? <laughs> that is it. It's a runner. The root is on the on the under the ground. Yeah. And it continue to spring. If you cut the top, the root, the other one will still come up. Okay, that's all. So, guys, if you are still watching, do all to like this video. We have come to the end of this video. Thank you so much, sir. I'll also be in your farm also next time for us to talk about your marketing. I'll be in your farm next time for us to talk about marketing. The video has I have been... a surprise for you. I want to give you a rabbit. Oh, you want to give me a rabbit? To, carry, to go with. Hey, guys, <laughs> he wants to give me one rabbit. Hey, okay, sir. I want to let's see. Rabbit. Let's see what you have for me. Let's see what you have for me. So guys, <laughs> he wants to give me one rabbit, a surprise for me. Okay. So let's see what he actually has for me. Okay. Mr. Uh, Mr. Bash has a lot of rabbits. So if you need rabbits, good breeds of rabbits, hit him up on the number on the screen. And he will he can wave you the rabbit to you. Yeah, hit him up. Or oh, winners. You want a male or female? Female is better. Female is better. Oh, give, let me give you this one of this angora. No, this is okay. Like, that is a male. Okay, you want to give me one of the angoras? Let me give you one of the angoras. Ha, guys, <laughs> let's see, let's see, let's see. Just pray for me to be here. Yes, I just pray. This is a male, too. This is a male. What's happening? <laughs> okay. This female. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. So guys, I have a new Angora growers. So if you're still watching this video, do well to like this video. Subscribe if you are yet to subscribe on our channel. And turn on the bell notification. So when we post another video on rabbit farming, you will get notified. If you need a rabbit, hit him up on the number on the screen. And he will wibble it down to your location here in Nigeria. So thank you guys once again. And do have a nice day. And until next time, peace out.